Hi, um, I'm Marty Thompson and today we're here at Smith & Edwards and I'm going to show you how to use the stitching awl, the Myers awl, um, do some stitching on some leather pieces to explain how that works. So we're going to show you how to set up the Myers awl to start sewing. Um, the, it has a storage compartment for the needles and the little wrench that are in the tool or in the top of the handle. Um, has a little screwdriver on the end of the wrench for changing out the spools of thread. Um, there's three colors available, black, brown, or the natural white. Um, just start with the little tail there, and in the inside there, have to loosen the chuck up a little, and start that way so the thread goes right up the center. And then you can just put the screw back in to hold that spool to make it easier while you're doing the rest. You can use different thread on these spools, you just have to wind it yourself. These pre-wound spools are pretty easy to use, but sometimes you need a thinner, thinner or lighter thread and you can use the different size needles according to the thickness of the thread. Um, with the thread through there, going through the end there, you just slide the needle in and always remember to follow the groove of the needle with the thread so that allows for you to um, use the awl like it's intended and pull the thread through and just tighten up the needle pull your end through and thread the needle and you are ready to sew at Smith and Edwards here we have the Myers awl available for sale replacement thread and replacement needles. You can find them here in the store or at smithandedwards.com. All right, so first first off, I'm going to show you how to sew with this Myers awl. Um, first hole you put in, you'll put your awl all the way through, the needle all the way through, and then just back it up till you see the bubble in the thread, and you pull that loose end all the way through onto your offside, opposite of where you started poking the hole. And then leave yourself plenty of thread depending on how long you're going to stitch so you don't have to start over in the middle. And then now that you have that loose end there, you back your awl out and go to your next hole and hold your thumb and finger on the wheel when you're um, poking the next hole so that you don't lose more thread. And then that just works through. And with that, now that you have the tail end on the off side, when you pull the loop, the awl back, it creates a loop here that you run your tail end through creating that lock stitch in the center of your leather or the material that you're sewing and then just continue on same step after each hole. With these Myers awls you can use them for um, household repairs, the leather, the tack, uh, canvas, nylon, upholstery in your car, anything that you need to stitch up and that creates that lock stitch, like I said, in the center of the material that you're sewing. Same thing, it's just the same step, hole after hole. And it creates, again, that lock stitch right in the center of your leather. And then pull it tight, and as you pull on this side, make sure and hold your fingers on the spool so it's not just allowing the thread to loosen up. It creates a good, solid, tight stitch. I have this leather being held in the stitching horse, but if you don't have access to a stitching horse, it's always good to uh, bench, you know, a top, a tabletop bench vise works really good. Just anything to hold that leather or the material while you're working on it. And you just want to make sure that you're pulling even on both sides so you get a good even stitch and that lock stitch is in the center of your material. That way it'll last longer and will wear better. And that's how it's done. Spin the Edwards Surplus Plus. Spin the Edwards Country Boy Store. Spin the Edwards Surplus Plus. Spin the Edwards Country Boy Store.